All right, guys, for long-term and uh, shelf-stable fuel source for cooking and heating, you can spend a bunch of money on these, or you can spend almost no money on one of these. What's up guys? It's Tyler with Forest Preps and Projects. Today we're going to be going over a shelf stable uh, last forever fuel source in the form of the Buddy Burner. It's very simple. My inspiration from this for this project was out of this book here, page 39, the Buddy Burner from Prepper Survival Hacks 50 DIY Projects. Great book, go pick it up. There's only three uh, components to this. You need some corrugated cardboard, see right there with the holes in it. You need some wax and an empty can. Now I've been preferring to use the empty chicken cans because they're pretty big. Whatever works for you. Price. Okay, on price, these fuel sources right here absolutely just kill it. Because you can pretty much make them for free. Who doesn't have old cans lying around from their food? Okay, if you're a parent, you know you got a drawer with a bunch of these in it. That your, oops, that your kids might not want to use anymore. And who can't find a piece of a moving box to cut up? So I'll show you guys how to make these. All right, a side note. If you don't got kids or a bunch of crayons lying around, who doesn't have a drawer or go to a garage sale and see a bunch of these old Christmas candles? You can melt those down just the same and it'll work. Every time I'm at a garage sale, I get candles cheap. I go ahead and I pick up the wax. Get your knife, cardboard, pencil. Now you want to get on your cardboard that's got the side with the holes in it. Take your can and go ahead and mark how wide your cardboard needs to be just off the can you're trying to fill. Now connect the dots and cut. That's what we need. Step two, take your cardboard on the end and start coiling it up. Just roll it. You're gonna roll it up till it's the size of your can. You're gonna stuff it down in there. Now one thing you guys might do if your first piece that you cut is not enough to fill your can is cut you another piece and tape it to this one. I think we got it just about perfect. Just got to squeeze it in there. Well, I think that's good. All right, now that we got that part made, it's time to melt some wax. If you don't recognize this guy, I would suggest you going and watching the rest of my No Power, No Problem series. We're gonna use our hobo stove and heat up the wax. Fill up your can or whatever you're going to use to melt the wax with pieces of broken wax. The smaller the better. Now that's what we want. Melting all those crowns together. There you go. And you just repeat this process. Melt the wax down and fill up all those corrugated holes there. I'm going to go around and make sure you fill the whole thing up. After you've got it completely filled up, let it sit outside to cool for a while and let the wax harden. That was how you make the buddy burner. Let's see how well they work. I'm gonna do a burn test and I'll tell you the times. For all those who wanted to know, a little under a pound, there we go. A little under a pound each. Now you can pull one of these out and you wanna use them. Just go ahead and take a knife and kind of mess up the middle of it and get some of that dry cardboard exposed, kind of pull some up. Heat source, shrimp ramen, water. See that? Okay, it's been like five minutes. 
Oh, and would you look at that. Five minutes and my ramen is cooking. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode of Forest Preps and Projects, where we went over the buddy burner. And on the final slide, I'll show you guys the burn times for the buddy burner and the chicken can size, the Vienna sausage can size. All right, guys, test your preps. And uh, this has been, I think, the fifth part of the No Power, No Problem series. I'm Tyler with Forest Preps and Projects. Like, subscribe. Have a nice day. Two and a half hours in, and they're still going.